Today we're going to paint some royal, uh, regal uh, soldiers from a better age of fantasy. Um, or at least they think that, but it uh, uh, turns out they're uh, flesh-eating weirdos. Let's do it! Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Katie Painting. Today we're going to paint the Royal uh, Beast Flayers from Games Workshop for their game Warcry. Uh, these are super cool. Uh, I'm not big on Games Workshop lore, uh, but from what I understand, uh, these guys think that they're Royal Knights. They're under some sort of uh, magical delusion and they're actually uh, weirdos that eat people. Uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, as a story goes for a faction, uh, they believe and fully see themselves as, as royal knights and regal soldiers and all that, and they're they're literally uh, the freaks. <laughs> anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's paint these. I'm gonna start with a spray of black and then a zenithal of white from above, and we are moving on to Poxwalker, and we're gonna add some speed paint medium. Now, this is gonna go all over their skin. We want to stay away from any of the hair uh, or fur, uh, but it can go over the bone. We're not concerned about that, but this is going all over the skin. While that's still wet, we're going to take some Magos Purple, and this is going to go all over their hands and their feet and around their mouths, and we're going to wet blend those two colors together. So this is going to be our basic uh, skin uh, color and idea with this sort of like, uh, what is that, lividity? I don't know what the word is. I don't know words. Yeah, it's called lividity, so it's like a bluish, bruising purple after death. Although I don't think these guys are dead. Either way, we're doing this. Now we're going to take some blood red, and I only have the first of uh, version of speed paint for this, so it's just going to go in their mouths, but this can run if you're not careful. We're going to take some pallid bone, and this is going to go on any of the bone features. So they just have bones sticking through their skin, which is, uh, I'm assuming, painful and fun. And uh, we're just going to put it on there. Next, we're going to take some ruddy fur, and this is going all over the weird fur on their back, and also any of their uh, fur loincloths. The thing is, is I don't think it's loincloths. I, I think it's actually fur from their bodies, which is weird that they have a shock of fur on their back and a shock of fur around like where a loincloth would be. It's a strange, strange biological feature. <laughs> and we're gonna take some bone white here and this is gonna go on their teeth. So we wanna go once that blood red is dried completely and just pick out their teeth. We're gonna take some livery green and we're just gonna dot in their eyes with this. So just be careful, take your time. So actually with that, the main uh, body of painting is done. We're gonna go in and do some weapons and a couple extra things here. But for like the basic ghoul, that's done. He's done, we're, we're finished. Bye. We're gonna take some clear red from Tamiya and some grim black and mix a little bit of that together. And this is a blood mix. And we're just gonna kind of stipple this on their hands and around their mouths just a little bit. This is optional, you don't have to do this. It just adds a little something. We're gonna take some Moonlight Coral and we're gonna put this on their toenails and fingernails, the ones that don't have blood on them, of course. Some of them are wearing like uh, drapes of uh, flesh, so uh, let's do that as well. So we're gonna take some peachy flesh and this is gonna go all over any, uh, any of those draping flesh cloths that they have. So uh, this guy has some and then also the captain of the group has some as well. Next, we're gonna take some maggot skin and we're gonna put that over top of the peachy flesh we just did. So we're gonna wait for that peachy flesh to dry and then we're gonna put this right over top. And this is gonna make it look a, a, a lot more dead and sort of weird. Give it a different look than just uh, flesh. We're gonna take some familiar pink and we're gonna use this on the intestines he's wearing as, uh, I don't know, jewelry? Jewelry intestines. We're gonna take some dark wood and this is gonna go on any of the parts that we want there to be wood. So there's not a ton, but a couple spots here and there, we're just gonna put it on that. 
and we're gonna take some brazen copper and some of them have some shoulder armor or some leg armor and stuff and that brazen copper is gonna go right on there We're going to take some Dirty Down Rust, and this is going to go all over wherever they have any weapons or blades or anything like that. We're going to take some Dirty Down Verdigree, and we're going to put that all over the uh, shoulder pads, like any of that copper and any of the rust that we did. We're going to take some Nilic Oxide, and we're going to just do little spot pieces on their armor and weapons. This Nylic Oxide is really cool, but I feel like you can use too much of it. So what I did, and I, unfortunately I didn't show you here, is I'd put a little bit on, and then I'd wet my brush and kind of take some off of it and move it around. So it wouldn't be as uh, stark. We're going to take some Scrofulous, Scrofulous Brown, and we're going to put this on the, uh, I don't know what this is, the head tiara the head wrappings anyway it's going on those strings on his head and also these stitches on the back of his uh flesh cape i'm gonna take some caribou crimson some richie violet and some express medium and i'm going to uh thin both of these down separately and i'm going to put some on here put some violet and then over on another spot I'm going to put some of the red and I'm sorry this is out of focus but it's just going to add a little bit of uh, modeling and we're going to hop over to some Riza rust here and we're just going to stipple and dry brush that onto some of the armor and rust that we did and that's just going to age everything down so that's those guys all painted and now you're thinking hey what about those weird uh baboon creatures okay we'll paint those now even though i think that they're weird looking and i don't like them as miniatures i'm still gonna paint them because i could probably use them for something so same thing we gave these guys a spray of black and then white from above and we took some croak green and some malignant green the malignant green is going to go all over the top of the skin and the croak green is going to go on the uh stomachs and their hands and the bottom of their feet we do this all while it's wet so we can kind of blend those colors together so when they, the delusional monsters look at this guy, what do they see? Just a horse? Or like a, like a monkey? I don't know, but it's not a horse or a monkey. Now we're gonna take some aged hide. This is a yellowish pink, and this is gonna go around their nose and their mouth. And we kinda, again, we want it all to still be wet so we can kinda blend those colors together. Also gonna go on the inside of their ears. We're gonna take some lizard folk cyan, and this is gonna go all over the quills and hair that are coming out of their, uh, their backs and their skin, and also their uh, jowls. We're gonna take some poppy red here, and this is just gonna go on the inside of their mouths. And we're gonna take some pallid bone because some of them also have those bones sticking out, and uh, same thing as we did on the ghouls. Take some moonlight coral, and this is going all over their toenails and fingernails. We're gonna take some amaranth red here and we're just gonna dot in their eyes their eyes are pretty big this is not that hard to do but you know take your time take some bone white here and just pick out uh their teeth um and honestly with that these guys are done and here they are all finished up now a couple of them i left the blood effects off just so you could see the paint job completely how easy it can be to paint some of these ghouls up but they turned out really good uh, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. The uh, rust effects and the verdigree is all really good. The mixing of the purple and the blue is really nice. Um, I'm really happy with them. Here, here's the one with the blood effects too. and It really gives it a little extra something. Um, it's an easy paint job. I really am happy with how they turned out. Uh, here's the baboon thing, weirdo. I don't know what they call that. A anyway, it's, it's weird. And here's the captain here he's all finished up as well uh, honestly these were fun to paint and it's an easy scheme anyone can do so what do you guys think um are you, do you play war cry are you interested in uh flesh eater quartz which is what they're called i don't think i said that till now and it's like the end of the video flesh eater quartz i will say um they showed off that new box 
uh, of the flesh eater courts. I have a thing for weird uh, vampire creatures, so I'm I'm definitely getting that box. Yep, and uh, I'm gonna definitely paint some up for the channel here. So if you're excited to see some of that, let me know in the comments below. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Just the idea of them sitting around a table, just like eating and like talking about lordly, like, uh, are they talking to each other? Do they have accents? They're like, oh, Reginald, uh, pass me the, the broccoli. And like, they're like, discussing finery and then like if you actually see what's happening they're just eating people parts can they talk do they just think they're talking to each other <laughs> well, it's, it's it's a really weird idea uh and i love it